federal jury has spoken about Puyallup's use of cameras inside the city jail. Eleven women and one man sued, saying the cameras violated their privacy. King 5's Chris Ingalls was the first to report on this federal lawsuit last year. Chris, what did the jury say? Dennis, they pretty much told Puyallup, lights, camera, action. The city can keep its camera system up and running, and it did not violate the privacy rights of prisoners who were forced to undress and use the toilet in front of those cameras. The 12 plaintiffs, most of whom were locked up on misdemeanor arrests like drunk driving, complained that they were forced to change into jail clothes or use the toilet while cameras in two holding cells recorded them. The judge dismissed their claims of voyeurism by jail officers and that the videotaping amounted to illegal strip searches. The sole issue at trial was whether the cameras in those two small cells violated the inmates' privacy rights. The city vigorously fought back, ar arguing that this was all done for security reasons only. They say the cameras are an extra set of eyes for a small jail that has only two jailers on any shift. The city did stop recording the camera feeds after the lawsuit was filed, though. It says that's because it was overwhelmed with records requests for those videos by the plaintiff's attorneys, not because of any other issue in this case. So the cameras continue to roll in Puyallup, but they're not recording them anymore. Puyallup's police chief says that he was extremely pleased with the jury's unanimous verdict in the city's favor today, and that he always had faith in the justice system.